Hi everyone, how are you? I hope you all are doing great. So in today's video, we will learn about a very new topic that is a HTTP callout. So we will learn how we can use HTTP callout in Flow uh, without writing any line of code. But wait, why am I showing you my YouTube screen? Because that is just a general reminder that if you have not subscribed to the channel yet, please click on the subscribe button below and also press the bell icon right next to it so that every time I upload a video, you get notified. Now, without any further ado, let's dive straight into the Salesforce org and create our flow. So we have a new feature that Salesforce introduced in the Spring 23 release, although it supports get calls only for now. But as I have some information in the summer 23 release, we will get the post method also, but we will talk about it later. Before this release, you had to build Apex classes in order to make calls to external web services. But now you can make HTTP callouts directly from the flow without using any line of code. This is a game changer, right? This feature is available in any flow type that contains the action element because the HTTP callout action you get in the action element in the flow. Okay, so for example, if uh, you want to build a record triggered flow to call an HTTP callout when a particular record meets a certain criteria. Okay, so you can do that as well. So for today's example, what we are going to do is uh, we will create a screen flow and ask the user if they want to hear a joke. So we have uh, lots of random APIs that you can use that are free to use uh, for this example. But let's be honest, if you can make someone laugh even a little bit, uh, you should do it, right? So for today's example, we will do just that. We will ask the user if they want to hear a joke and if they click on yes, then we will call an action which will have a HTTP callout in which we will get a random joke from the API and we will you will get a lot of uh, free APIs on the internet for uh, like understanding this example like uh, exchange rate APIs or weather APIs. There are many more uh, than that as well. Now let's start creating today's flow. But before the flow, we have some uh, pre steps to be done. So we will do that. Firstly, we want to create a permission set. We will create a permission set for the user who need to use the HTTP callout. So let's create a permission permission set from here. And let's name the permission set HTTP joke callout permission set. And that is it. You don't have to do anything else. Let's click on save. Now, after that, the second step is we need an external credential. So what we'll do is we'll go to named credentials first. And in named credentials, we will go to external credentials and create a new external credential. So, uh, here uh sorry i clicked on the name credential let's go to external credential and create a new one let's click on the new button and name the credential let's name it http callout joke external credential now in the authentication uh you can use auth2 as well but we will use authentication api for that we will use custom and click on done uh, okay so name cannot have spaces let's just remove the spaces from the name and save it again Okay, so our external credential is done successfully. Now on the external credential details page, if you will scroll down, you will see permission set mapping. So now what we'll do is we will just add the permission set here and we will map the permission set that we have just created to this external credential. So I have uh, selected our permission set and clicked on save. Now we have successfully mapped our permission set to this external credential. Let's go to permission sets again. And let's see where's our permission set. Okay, so now what we will do is the next step is to assign this permission set to our user because we have created this permission set to 
uh, assign it to the users who need to use the HTTP callout. So in order to use this example, we will just assign it to my user, which is this. And let's click on next and assign. Okay, so we have successfully mapped the permission set and assigned the permission set to the user that I have. Now we will go back to name credentials and we will create a name credentials as well. Let's go to the name credentials. This is the one that I have created for testing and we will create a new one for this example. Let's name it HTTP joke call out name credential and we will just copy paste the name but remove the spaces now after adding the name we have to add the url what is the url in this url you will add the api uh, call out url path from which uh, you will have to call the call out you will have to get the information okay so in our case uh, we have a predefined api that i'm going to show you here so our api url is official joke api dot appspot.com so we will just copy this url and we will paste it there so this will be our name credential url after that authentication uh, we will just select an external credential that we have created uh, and we don't have to choose anything else we will just click on the save button and that is it we are good to go now uh, we have finished all the configuration we have added the URL we have added a name credential external credential permission set and we have mapped the permission set as well now I think we are good to go. We will just create our flow. So let's go to home and create our flow. So we are going to create a screen flow. In that on the first screen we will ask the user if they want to hear a joke and if they will click on the next button which means they want to hear a joke then we will just call the action element on which we will call the call out uh, HTTP call out and tell them a joke okay so for asking them something we will take a display text and we will just add the display text properties like the API name will be joke confirmation message and in the text, we will just ask them if they want to hear a joke. Let's type, hey, do you want to hear a joke? Now we will just add the smiley here as well and let's just add some formatting here like the color or make it bold and let's make the font size a little bit big as well after that let's keep it to the center okay that looks great now we will add the screen properties like screen name label and api name and let's name it joke message screen and the API will be same after that in the footer we really don't need the pause and previous button so I'm just removing the previous and pause button like just hiding them so that we will just have one button which is finish now let's click on done our screen is here now we will add an action button but before that uh, in the name credential I have changed something uh, so in the URL I have had uh, a forward slash as well if you remember so I just removed that I cl clicked on the edit button and I removed the forward slash so this was there before and I have edited it because we wanted that URL now let's go back to flow in action we have a button which is create HTTP callout let's click on that and let's give it a name we are just creating an external service 
let's name it joke call out and after that we are selecting our name credential okay let's click on next and here we are creating an invocable action let's name the action the name will be http call out joke action and the method we only have one method which is get now we have enter url path in url we have our basic url right but after that if you have some other path as well you can use that so uh, i'll just show you here in this url we have four options to like get a joke from the api which is random joke random 10 joke slash random and joke slash 10 so you can use any i'm using jokes slash random so i'll just copy it from here and i'll paste it in the url path so because i have these predefined uh, path i am adding it here if you are using a variable for an instance you can use it in the curly braces okay now after that we have add query parameters so we have four parameters in this api let me just uh, show you the api parameters let's add the jokes and random here so this is the proper api json response that we will get and in it we have four parameters which is type setup punchline and id okay so we will just copy paste the parameters from here and add it in the query parameters keys I'm just typing it here because I know the parameters but what is the best practice? The best practice is to copy and paste the name so you, do, you don't just do typo mistakes. So here you add the key name and the data type. Okay, Make sure the data type is correct otherwise you will not get the response correctly. So I'm just adding the keys and their data types. The fourth one is id with the data type integer. That is correct. Now it says provide sample response. So in order to finish configuration, we should provide sample response. For sample response, I will just copy paste uh, the JSON response from here to here. And then we will review it. Once you review it, you can just see the data structure on the right hand side. Here you can see we have our four parameters that we have added. Now that is it. Let's click on done and done again. Now we will add our action element properties here. Uh, let's just give it a label and API name. Let's just name it uh, action joke. And here if you want to add uh, values in these parameters from like a uh, any other variable or from asking the user from asking the input from user then you can do that as well but we are just getting the values so we will not include it uh, to asking the user any values okay and we'll click on done now our action is done now we will just take a screen element again and we will take a display text and in this display text we will uh, show the response from the api that we are getting Let's just type here's the joke for you and how about a smiley again? <laughs> right, that's correct. Let's just give it some formatting, font, color and bold. Okay. After that, we will add a display text in which we will show the output of the uh, API like the response of the API that we got. Let's name it joke response. And here we will show two things. First will be setup and second will be punchline. So let's show them setup and punchline in the display text. Let's go to insert resource, output of action joke and setup. Okay, so here's the setup. Now, uh, let's just do some formatting. Oops, sorry. I just dragged it to the long place. Let's add some formatting. Bold color should be black. 
and bold okay that's correct let's add a display text again and let's show them the punchline because punchline is the main part right let's add on some color make it bold and add some font size to it okay that's look fine um one second adding some smileys as well because that is the best part of the joke right if we want the user to smile now adding some properties to the screen element and here i'm hiding the pause and previous button and naming the finish button to tell me uh one second no i did that wrong i will just make it finish and in the first screen we will add the button name to tell me okay let's just name the display component and done let's open the first screen and this finish button we will add a custom text to it which will be tell me so basically when the user will click on the tell me button we will tell him a joke okay let's see how it goes let's click on done and the flow looks great let's save it and debug it to see how it works run it so here's a flow uh, the user is asked hey do you want to hear a joke with a smiley uh, and when the user will click on the tell me button we will tell him a new joke let's click on tell me and here's the joke so it says here's a joke for you i dropped a beer in my car this morning you should drop another one because then you would have a pair did you get it no let's just refresh it again okay so the next joke is what do you get when you cross a rabbit with a water hose hairspray did you get that so you will get a random joke every time you will refresh this page uh, that is the functionality of this page that you will get a random joke uh, every time the user clicks on the tell me button so uh that was today's example that was today's flow i hope you guys like this video i hope you guys learned something new and learned how you can use http callout from flow without writing any line of code so now let's do the uh, quick recap of our flow as well let's go to the flow again and here first we created a screen in which we asked the user if they want to hear a joke after that uh, we have created an action element from which we are calling the joke apis and we are getting the setup and the punchline and then we have a screen in which we are showing the user the setup and the punchline okay so that is today's example how you can uh, get response from the http callout uh, function in the flow without writing any line of code how you can use the api to use it and uh, to uh, get the response in the flow that is it that was today's example i hope you found it useful i'll see you super soon in my next video till then bye bye take care and keep learning.